Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we're going to be featuring a legend run in open ultra league uh, using superior superior is a pure grass type with access to vine whip frenzy plant then either aerial ice for coverage or leaf tornado for that ever desirable uh, attack uh, debuff so let's go ahead and get started uh, with the battles and, and see how we do all right, it's good. we're going to have Opscoon into Berserker. Generally a favorable matchup for... Okay. Oh, this is actually really, really good here because typically the... Oh, okay. Swappers don't carry Sludge Wave in Open Ultra. And uh, it really decimates that Swamper. Uh, so this is actually probably... Okay, going to Leaf Tornado again. Here, it's very unlikely that the Berserker will shield, so... Um, but getting that attack drop will be really helpful in this matchup because it basically will cripple this Berserker. It's a two-stage attack drop, so this is going to do absolutely nothing to uh, to the Berserker here. Uh, well, the, the, to the Superior from the Berserker. Uh, they throw another Foul Play. It does absolutely nothing here. Going to throw the Frenzy Plant. Frenzy Plant still going to hurt. Going to probably do like around 30%. Oh, yeah. Very nice chunk there. Uh, Leaf Tornado will almost KO, but um, uh, this, not even this foul play will KO at this range. Yeah, and then going to throw another Leaf Tornado here. We're going to see whether or not they want a shield or not. Superior is absolutely going off. Oh, another attack fall here. That's absolutely insane here. Uh, probably could just go Talon Flame. Okay, going to go. Oh, this is double water here. So it's going to be pretty interesting here. But with uh, up on energy and up on shield, this should be pretty okay here. Um, the Talon Flame is going to be able to survive whatever move the Berserker is going to be able to throw at it. So I think you just end up double shielding uh, Obscoon, and you should be should be pretty good here. Obviously, you have to be really careful of the ops of the of the Berserker coming back in and throwing a close combat, which it certainly has, uh, since it did farm quite a bit of energy off that Superior here. Um, still don't need to shield here. I'll probably need to shield one of these eventually. But this weather ball nerf definitely makes it a little bit less needed to, uh... Okay, gonna let it go again. Okay, gonna shield here. Okay. Oh my gosh, they didn't get a move off for some reason. And, uh, they decide to, to leave the game. So, very nice. Alright, we're gonna have Obstagoon into Lapras. A very nice lead here. We're gonna see what they want to do. Oh, they come into Gavantula here. Gavantula is a huge core breaker uh, for this team uh, since it, it basically deals super effective damage against across this entire team. Um, she's gonna shield here. Um, Gav Gavantula versus Talonflame is actually a pretty okay matchup uh, for for Talonflame since the Incinerates do so much damage. Okay, gonna take it on superior here. I'm not a hundred percent sure on this catch here. Um, gonna go for the leaf tornado. Okay. Oh man, this is kind of rough here. I think you gotta let it go. They cross poison here. Very nice read. Okay, gonna throw. Oh, that's not good here. Uh, I think you gotta let it go. They cross poison again. Uh, okay, and they come into S Cavalier here. Oh, should have waited the clock out. Um, but this is still okay here because you can farm down with, uh, um, Talon Flame here and then the, the, uh, oh, okay. Very nice. Still preserve a little bit of the health here. Definitely don't chill this because you're more worried about the, uh, Surf. They actually end up Mega Horning, which is double resisted. I'm just going to fl straight Flame Charge here. Um... I need like a flame charge and a brave bird to be able to win the game here. Uh, obviously, doesn't want them to catch either. So, gonna sh shield this for sure. And then I think you just wait for the ice shard. They're probably just gonna wait here. Oh nope. Okay. Nope. They're gonna just throw here. Uh, but this should should be game over. Uh, this talent flame should be able to survive one. Um, yeah, one uh, Volt Switch, even with the defense drop from the Brave Bird. Uh, very nice play. All right, say your prayers. Well, we're going to pray for a good lead here. All right, this is an okay lead here. Um, obviously, the cross shop 
gonna deal oh okay they didn't throw here um they're building up here okay Breeden. okay this is an interesting switch here also a very interesting uh team comp there uh okay uh obviously not probably not gonna shield this here gonna go looks like they're gonna go straight leaf tornado okay uh could throw a two there i prefer to throw a one or four of violence when you're a two turn move versus a uh Okay, so this this match should flip here pretty easily. Obviously, the Obscoon has quite a bit of energy. Almost, uh, it basically has two Night Slashes. I'm uh, going to throw the Frenzy Plane here. Green is quite tanky, so it should be able to just barely survive this. Uh, okay, yeah, that's a little bit more than just barely. Able to get an extra Vine Whip through, which is really nice. Uh, and should be able to farm down here. Uh, I think we'll live this. It's very close though. Oh, it does. Okay, and then probably just gonna leave tornado wherever it's gonna come in. Okay, okay. I if the tag drops with this one, they might be able to get off a second leaf tornado. Oh, okay. They they did, but then they over tapped. Unfortunately, there. Gonna throw the uh, cross shop here. Um, and then gonna switch here. And the opponent decides to, to leave the match there. I'm actually surprised that the cross shop did not KO, but cross shop is a pretty bad move and no stab on it. Okay, okay, good lead here, depending if they have Dragon Breath or not. They have Shadow Claw here, so this is an excellent lead here. You definitely don't want to throw right away because it's uh, most likely time they're going to catch, right? Uh, but this is still a very positive scenario here. I'm going to throw one before they reach the second Dragon Claw. And the next slash, okay, okay. Oh, oh man, this is bad news for the S Cavalier, and they decide to leave the game here, realizing that it's it's pretty much over here. They they probably have like Empoleon in the back. I realize it's going to be a pretty uphill battle from there. Okay, so this is a good lead here. Uh, I think. Okay, okay, gonna go. This is very good here. Um, they must have like another. Uh, Counter to Obstagoon. Uh, the Venusaur is not like so uncommon to see. Um, maybe undercharge this slightly. Well, actually, they'll probably live this. Yeah, they'll live it here. And then should be able to make it to this Flame Charge uh, before the g -fist can make it to a Rock Slide. Uh, this won't KO, uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if they don't shield this. Yeah. And then uh, could shield this and two Incinerates will probably KO. Okay, gonna let it go. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm gonna throw the Leaf Tornado here. This should still be pretty okay, especially if they get the attack drop. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty much uh, game over now. Gonna shield this. Probably do one Vine Whip, then throw the Frenzy Plant. Okay, gonna throw on three. A little bit risky there, but no charm went through. Um, and they end up double shielding here. Gonna throw, a f okay, kind of a weird animation there, uh, or some weird lag here. Uh, but this is looking pretty good here. And they decide to leave the game. Okay, very nice. Honestly, the Clefable was like oh, basically in like a uh, slash range anyway, so. All right, Obscune into Empoleon here. Okay, it's a very nice lead here. They come into uh, Snarl Muck here. Mm, this is okay. Uh, you have a superior for the uh, for the Empoleon, so really no need to switch out here. Um, here's what they have in the back. I'm gonna shield the Sludge Wave. I think that's a good call. Really can't say switch out though afterwards, so um, should be able to get this uh, next cross shop off beforehand. But I honestly don't think this KOs. I think they'll just barely survive it. Yeah, they'll barely survive it. You gotta take this move here for sure. Ends up being a sludge wave, and we're gonna see it's gonna be okay. This is, this is pretty good here. Even down a shield, uh, both these Pokemon should be able to win. Uh, their respective matchups, but it really kind of depends on how aggressive this Venusaur farms. 
the screen first okay it doesn't farm down all the way honestly if it would have farmed down all the way then um this would have been a pretty close game here because uh, likely they get two sludge bombs off on the talon flame obviously they don't know the talon flames in the back um so they're gonna sludge bomb here likely we're gonna see a switch right after this uh but let's see they do okay and then gonna go into superior here looking pretty good here gonna go straight for the leaf tornado uh some lag there likely on both sides so they might not be okay oh yeah this is game over here right this is absolutely game over here uh unless they're going to the blizzard here um which is a possibility um uh, but you just don't shield this they do go for the blizzard okay very nice play but gonna be able to farm down here and then you're just gonna be able to leaf tornado this venusaur uh which will 100 not shield uh but you can just switch here to talon flame afterwards and and uh throw the flame charge here only only because you want the attack buff and this means like two incinerates will ko here okay uh probably didn't need to throw this here uh but that's okay and uh, that should K that double boosted incinerate should be enough to ko the venusaur they go for the frenzy plant uh, which wouldn't have ko the talon flame anyways um very nicely done all right, we're going to go Obstagoon into Dragalge. Very interesting pick here. Uh, Dragalge actually a really huge chord breaker for this team. Uh, so we're going to throw it seven here. So now they're at five. So you just got to determine whether or not they're going to outrage or not. Because honestly, this back line is kind of horrible uh, against Dragalge. Um, so they for sure have enough for the outrage. Uh, double Aqua Tail now. Gonna let it go. Predicting the Aqua Tail. Very nice. Okay, this is another Aqua Tail. And then one counter away from another Night Slash here. Okay, very nice. Uh, looks like they're gonna farm down. And this is gonna be difficult. Well, actually, no, they. Oh my gosh, they come to Jellison here. Okay, Bubble Jellison is looking pretty good here. Um, gonna not shield this they end up getting they end up having ice beam here which is uh, kind of rough here um gonna throw the leaf tornado here let's see if they shield or not they don't shield no attack drop either gonna throw another uh leaf tornado here gonna fish for the debuff does get the debuff here so should be able to easily live this ice beam now and be able to farm down and then have a oh okay you can actually shield here um Okay, and then likely we'll leaf tornado this Dragalge. Okay, oh, okay. They end up farming down. Oh yeah, just, just throw these leaf tornadoes at this Politoed. Um, if you're the Politoed, I think you call this really like your only way to win here. But man, once you get debuffed here, this is like, if they get debuffed again, there's just like no chance here. This is just absolutely, okay. Uh, you let it go here, this is just a weather ball. Oh my gosh, did it? <laughs> well, they obviously undershirts that, but um, that is pretty brutal there. Um, all right, we're going to go Obscoon into Cresselia here. Um, pretty neutral-ish matchup. Uh, like, uh, Cresselia wins the zero and one shield. No, yeah, and then Obscoon wins the two shield. gonna catch uh very nice very nice gonna catch likely the moon blast here um and then likely they'll throw okay they come into giratina here they farmed out quite a bit of energy uh against the, the superior here gonna fish for these uh debuffs here uh there is some desync in the clock so i, I would imagine uh, a switch out is gonna happen at some point in time Okay, attack dropped. Gonna leaf tornado again. Okay, double drop here. I like this play here. Uh, they're they're farming a lot, and they'll likely switch out. Um, but then uh, they're quite low here. 
I don't even know if this Dragon Claw will KO. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're twice dropped here. Uh, definitely does not. Okay, they're going to farm down here. Okay, uh, you definitely have to shield this, right? Okay, going to no shield this. And then actually switch out into Talonflame here. Um, see whether or not they have a future site. Gonna let it go. Ooh, they do have future sight. That's not great here. Uh, so likely they'll have to shield the second one, which will likely be a moon blast. Um, okay, gonna throw here right away. Okay, this gear team is loaded though. Oh man, you, you kind of have to shield this. Okay, uh, kind of have to shield it. Okay, gonna let it go. We'll live it. Okay, definitely let this go here. Um, oof, okay. Oh, it's a, okay. They throw, throwing the Night Slash here, hoping for the attack boost. Oh, does get the attack boost here. Uh, gonna go for another Night Slash here. Um, they end up shielding. Oh, got, got the double attack boost here. Uh, kind of need to shield this, to be honest. Which is kind of unfortunate here, because uh, um, I don't think they'll make it to another one after this. Um, okay. Uh, oh, man. Okay. And then should have more health here. I like this play here. Should have more health than, um, than this Giratina. Oh, very nice win there. Really, really nice win. Fantastic play there. All right, we, we did hit Legend, and now we are on to our Legend set here. Um, okay, this is a Dragonite in open. Okay, interesting. All right, I'm gonna throw the Night Slash here. Uh, so they haven't, they're, it looks like they're going up for at least the Hurricane. Uh, if they had Outrage, they would have been able to CMP tie and throw it there. Um, gonna let this go. They do Dragon Claw here. Oh, interesting. Um, they're going for the farm down here. I think you have to switch here, to be honest. Like, okay, no, no, they, they, what? Okay. Um, well, this is, this, that was a very fortunate lead. I have, I have no idea what okay this is a very fortunate set of circumstances here uh they should have won the game uh to be honest um i don't know what the dragonite was doing did they lag or something um attack harshly fell this is game over right you don't shield this superior it's gonna be a drill pack i'm gonna do absolutely nothing here just gonna straight leaf tornado and torment this empoleon uh there's really nothing they can do at this point in time Probably gonna look to farm down the Empoleon uh, after this, and then just throw a Leaf Tornado and then switch out, and uh, that's that's gonna be game over here. Okay. Oh, they end up catching the move here onto um, Venusaur. Um, oh man, that that's that is brutal here. That is absolutely brutal uh, for the opponent. These Sludge Bombs do do not very much damage now. The they'll need two Sludge Bombs to KO now. And uh, they said to let it go. And uh, should be able to incinerate down this Empoleon. Yeah. Oh, man, that was brutal. That was brutal. A kind of a very weird lead. Um, yeah, very weird. Uh, I'm not sure why they opponent played it that way. Okay, very good lead here. Um, obviously, they're going to have lots of counters here. They're probably going to look to catch the Night Slash. Okay, and they come into Drapion here. Okay, this is interesting. Has another counter for uh, for um, Trevenant in the form of Talent Flame, but obviously the Shadow Ball would do quite a bit of damage. And there's quite a big desync in the clock, and you're also worried about uh, whether or not this thing has Aqua Tail or not. So I'm gonna let this go. They have Sludge Bomb. Okay. Uh. Should be able to live this. It's close though. It is very close. 
Okay, I like this play here. Just blind uh, Night Slash. They definitely won't shield this. Uh, not that it will do like a ton of damage. To get the boost though, okay. <laughs> They're gonna go with Spear here. Gonna, gonna take the move. I like this play here. Take it on to uh, Superior. They Shadow Ball here, then you switch. Just because Talonflame is much squishier than um, than, um, than Superior. So obviously gonna have to shield this, but they might bait. They do bait. They're gonna be able to make it to the move um, uh, before the Sincerity can KO. Yeah, gonna have to shield this. Um, the Shadow Ball here, this is totally fine though. Okay, basically just straight Flame Charge this uh, Gyarados. Uh, it, this is a boosted uh, Flame Charge. It's almost, yeah. Okay. Um, this Aqua Tail could KO. Yeah, it does KO. Uh, and then you'll be able to Frenzy Plant and take out this Gyarados here. Uh, really, really nice play all around. And uh, very nice clean win there. All right, we're going to this next battle here. We're going to have Obstagoon into Talon Flame. Okay, uh, kind of have to play this out. Throw it seven. We're gonna throw two past the Night Slash. Oh, we're gonna throw one past, okay. Oh, that was kind of weird uh, timing there. Oh, they did get the boost here. Got the counter back, okay. Like, unlikely this is gonna be Brave Bird. Oh my gosh, it is a Brave Bird, okay. Okay, gonna go into Superior here. Okay, likely they have a second um, uh, counter to uh, Swampert in the back. Maybe in the form of Cresselia. Hey, you have to let this go. Uh, Blizzard won't KO here. All right, so. And gonna they're gonna farm down. Okay, could have thrown a better time there, but uh, will this Leaf Tornado. Okay, attack card did harshly fall. All right, so you go into. Um, you let this. Okay, gonna shield this. Then do. Okay, they're throwing one then throwing. They should really throw two then throw. Um, they're definitely cost. They're just not giving up. Ah, uh, uh, flame charge, right? Oh, it's a brave bird. Oh my gosh, that's this is pretty brutal here. Um, yes, yeah, this, this they they got brave bird unshielded brave bird twice here. So this is gonna be pretty tough here. I don't necessarily see the win con here. Um, gonna shield this. Okay. Um, I don't know if they shield this or not. Uh, it's kind of a okay. They do end up shielding here, but can you really go pace? No, there's no way, no chance. Um, and then like a, even a foul play will KO the obstacle at this point in time, and uh, counters plus not non sub counters non sub crush up. Definitely not going to be enough to uh, win this game here. And they go for the last resort, which obviously is going to be uh, more than enough to be able to win the game there. All right. Uh, I believe we just have a few more games here. Uh, all right. Obscure mirror here. So like last time they like to try to catch onto superior, which I think is not a Bad strategy here, uh, especially if it's a cross shop. If it's Night Slash, it's a little, a little bit less good. Okay, they end up being Night Slashing here. Not a big deal though. Um, Superior is quite tanky here. They come to Cresselia here. Gonna Leaf Tornado here. Um, let's see if they get that. Oh man, that's brutal. That is a brutal way to switch in and you'd be greeted by a Leaf Tornado and have your attack drop by two stages here. Uh, Friends of Plane does quite a bit of damage here. Definitely doesn't need to shield anything here. Uh, this probably do like, they probably need three now. Yeah, they'll need three. Uh, the next one definitely will not KO. And then they'll be able to reach uh, two more Frenzy Plants. All right. Um, this definitely won't KO. Even a Future Sight won't KO. Uh, oh, they come back into... Okay, did they think they caught a... 
uh, Leaf Tornado? They did. Okay, and they're going to get countered down here. Uh, I'm going to shield this just in case it's a cross shot. Uh, and it is. And going to counter down here. Um, this uh, Cresselia is very low. Um, okay, they come to Swamp Root here. Oh, that is not pleasant here. Um, but still playable. The Spirit has a little bit of health. Enough that they can get off a few Vine Whips before getting farmed down by the Mud Shots. They end up shielding here. You got no shield this. Should... It's close here. It's okay, gonna shield this actually. Um... Okay, alright. Okay, this is actually okay. You just incinerate down. You just incinerate down. All right? And then, uh, yeah, I like this play here. Uh, if they can live one more incinerate, that will be super clutch here. If they can live in this incinerate here. Oh my gosh, thank you, Cresselia, for being tanky. Thank you, Cresselia, for being tanky here. And I'm uh, going to be able to land this Bray Bird and absolutely decimate this, uh, this Swamper here. Very nice play. Fantastic play. All right. All right. It's the next game here. We're going to have Obstagoon into Greedon. This is a very nice lead here. Um, Greedon is quite annoying, though. But uh, she going to go for the Night Slash here. Um, hmm. Curious on uh, what the particular strategy is. Oh, they did get the boost. Okay. I guess the strategy is to get the boost. I'm assuming the Greedon will switch out to force the Obstagoon out. Okay. Oh man, they tried. Oh man, they're going to register steel here onto an obscune that's boosted. Oh, okay. Gonna go straight to Talon Flame here. Not gonna get greedy. And gonna flame charge here. Um, this uh, obviously they're gonna undercharge. I like this play here. Uh, because they're gonna get a flash cannon off regardless. All right, and might as well get a little bit more energy here. Um, this is looking pretty good here. Uh, gonna be able to. Oh, and they decide to lead the match there. Very nicely done. All right. We're gonna have Obstagoon into Giratina. Okay, good lead here. And we're gonna see how they want to play it. Okay, interesting. Both of them are wary of each other trying to catch. Um, obviously, Obstagoon, this is a favorable lead here. Okay, they throw it eight, so they're one away. Uh, they're one away, and then we're two away. Okay, they decide to go into Drapion here. Um, we're gonna have to switch, right? Uh, I think gonna take a move first, right? Uh, to make sure that it has Sludge Bomb and not Aqua Tail. Okay, gonna shield this, okay. They end up having Sludge Bomb. Hmm. Okay. Okay, let this go. Unfortunately, I think they live that incinerate. Uh, okay, no. Yeah, they do. Okay, or they transferred it. Um, this doesn't KO. I think you go straight Brave Bird here, though. Okay, gonna go for the uh, Flame Charge. I guess the Brave Bird would KO here, so... Uh, they end up shielding here. Okay. Okay, you let it go. And then you come back into Obstagoon. Throw the Night Slash. Uh, they'll beat you to the move. There is a, some desync in the clock, though. So, um, some things to be weary of. Uh, this doesn't KO. Uh, the Giratine. The Giratine will be able to get off one more Dragon Claw. Um... You let it go here, and obviously the Drapion is still alive here. All right, gonna have to, in my opinion, I'm gonna have to switch to uh, Superior here. Oh, did you get the boost though? Oh, okay. Well, this is this is fine though. Yeah, they they they're looking for the catch. Um, they'll probably try to mud shot down, but this game's over, right? Like, uh, Gfist can't touch uh, Superior here, and these counters are doing a lot of damage here. And um, Prince of Planet probably won't KO. 
uh, but some vine whips afterwards, and this is this is GG anyway, so uh, really nicely done. All right, I believe this is gonna be the last game we're gonna be showing showcasing here. Uh, eight, okay, so let's see if it's poison jab. It is poison jab. They come into oh my gosh, okay, that is this is uh, this is this is just a frenzy play too. Okay, this is gonna be uh, Farm City here, right? I think you go flame charge, throw no bubbles here. Okay. Um, okay, they're not gonna bother our charging here. Um, I think could have came out with more energy here because it uh, looks like they're not even bothering going in Q here. They're just gonna go straight. Uh... Okay, so this is looking pretty good here. Um, I'm, I'm assuming they try to bait out the Giratina with uh, um, this is okay. This is a, oh, this is Dark Pulse. Okay, uh, I'm assuming they, they try to bait out the Giratina with uh, with the Meganium. So I'm assuming they have something else weak to uh, oh man, this is brutal. <laughs> There's no way this Amok shields. This Talon Flame has like almost no no health left. All right, we're gonna see. Oh, okay. Oh, they come into. Uh, this is looking pretty good here. You just straight leaf tornado here. Um, probably not not chill this. They probably straight foul play here. Um, okay. They don't shield here. Good call. Gonna go straight leaf tornado here. Uh, this is one before they make it to the second foul play. Because they got a vine whip through. Okay. Uh, I think you let this go. They foul play here. You switch here. And then a cross shop should be enough to, to KO. It is going to deal super effective damage. And uh, some really uh, fantastic play by this trainer. Uh, congratulations on hitting Legend with a very nice team. Anyways, I'm going to leave there. If you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see everyone in the next video.